Today we are here with an interesting DIY project, the automatic fish feeder. You might be thinking, what's new in an automatic fish feeder, right? Sit tight, we have got your surprise. Apart from the existing automated fish feeders, this has a companion app that can control the fish feeder from anywhere in the world. You can instantly feed the fish using the feed now button. In addition, you can set your feeding schedule and change them easily using the scheduler in the companion app. Now let's have a look into how it's built. Vemos D1 Mini, a continuous rotation servo, a 5V DC adapter, other electronic components we are using for the build. Let's design the companion app first. Here we developed the user interface using HTML, CSS and JS. And we are using Firebase real-time database to transfer the data between the companion app and the fish feeder. Now let's open the website and check whether everything is working flawlessly. As you can see, we have two options on the website. The feed now button feeds the fish instantaneously and the schedule button is used to set your feeding schedule. We also have a clock on the website indicating the current time. We have our servo connected to the Vemos D1 Mini and the code is already uploaded using Arduino IDE. Now let's press feed now and test whether the servo is rotating or not. Yeah, the feed now is working precisely. Now let's set a time and repeat the test. It's 8 past 10 now. So let's select 10 past 10 as a time. It's 10 past 10 and you see it is also working fine. Now it's time to build the physical part of the fish feeder. Since we have a rectangular aquarium, we will design a fish feeder that can be directly plugged into the walls. Let's open Fusion 360 and start designing the enclosure. We are using the servo as the reference file which will ease our design process. Our design is now complete and it's time for 3D print. We're using the Prusa MK2 printer and a PLA material for this print. When the printing is complete, we have six different parts. We encountered a slight issue while printing the Arkham screw. So we took another file from a website, then changed the dimensions from Prusa slicer itself and printed it again. Now we have a neat looking Arkham screw. As we have all six parts, it's time to assemble them. Now attach the fish feeder to the aquarium and power it using the adapter. Add some food in the storage box of the container and we are good to go. If you are fascinated by this project, don't forget to hit the like button. Also share this video with all your pet lover friends. Get subscribed to this channel if you want to see more exciting projects like this. If you are really interested in replicating this project, don't forget to check out the project link which is given in the description. So thanks for watching, see you guys soon, bye.